Capital University in Studio B. So I want to talk about getting signal into uh, a channel, then to the HD24, and then back to the Toft and then to the speakers so you can hear it. And then the second part will be running routing using AUX 5 and 6 to run to headphones so your client in the other room can hear the headphones. Here we go. And I've plugged into uh, channel 1 in the snake. So I'm going to use the trim to bring up channel 1. I'm going to bring up my fader to unity gain. I'm neither adding subtracting gain. I've got a microphone here. I'm going to use a scratch test. I've created a new song. It's important things to remember about this. Um, my input says analog. If I can get that focus on there. Uh, my monitor is set to auto. That's that button right here. Input says auto. My clock source is internal. I'm set for a 44.1 sample rate. If your clock source is set wrong or the input is set to digital, you'll never get any signal. So I'm going to engage my track. I've got my microphone. And there is my signal. I'm going to come over, turn up the monitor gain, it's already up, stereo master fader, up, channel, I'm sorry, controller monitor, check, 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 there's my signal, check, 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 check. I've not pushed any buttons to get signal to the speakers, check, 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 check. Okay, that is part one. Part two. Now let's get it to the headphones console, we're going to use channels 5 and 6 of the aux sections to send to headphones. On this channel, there's an important button that says aux 5 and 6 to mons. That button needs to be pushed. That will send this monitor to aux 5 and 6. This is post uh, tape machine, so that's really important. So I'm going to turn these up. That's my right ear. That's my left ear. Right now it's mono, so I'm going to turn them up. If I wanted it to be stereo, I could turn this one down and I would turn this one up if I had these two tracks. Now that would be the left ear, this would be my right ear, and it would be stereo. I'm not doing that. So I'm using aux 5 and 6, turning them up. I'm going to come all the way over here to my master aux section, auxiliary masters. And I'm going to turn 5 and 6, give myself a little bit of headroom, but I'm going to turn them up at 3 o'clock. Then I'm going to come over to my headphones. Mix A is Toft, mix B is Pro Tools. If you just leave it at 12 o'clock, it'll work just fine. So right here, that says A and there's a shadow, but that says B. That's my volume. I've got my headphones plugged in. So you can hear it here. I'll turn my control room down, speaker down, put my headphones on. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Check on the headphones. Check, check, check. Headphones are now working. Those can be plugged into the snake. So there's four, uh, five channels, only four are in the snake. So now you should get audio through the snake. So that's how that should be set up. There's also a input volume for A and B. Those should be all the way up. There's no reason you should need to do those. And your client can hear, and you mix it down, and it sounds good. La two things you need to do. One, you need to put the studio back in the order. That includes zeroing the console. So make sure all the knobs that can turn counterclockwise, easy for me to say, are turned down. Pan knobs are returned to the neutral position. Faders are down. Control room volumes down. Master aux sections are down. Everything's at the neutral position. Fan and power's off. Super important. The next thing to do is wrap a cable properly. So... I'm going to go through this one more time, see if I can get this set over here. All right, so I've got my cable, and I'm cleaning and making sure it's all good to go. Over, under. If you're left, right-handed, which I am, this is my right. It's a joke. Over, and then here's my pinky. Notice it comes underneath. That's the under. Now, it's got a little bit of a kink here, so I don't want to do that. I want to make sure it's clean. There it's now, it's laying super flat. Here's the over, needed a little bit of twist. Here's the under, from straight ahead, over, under, from this position. Over, under, and over. Little Velcro, hang on the wall, good to go.